This is another in the series of videos to show meristem excision techniques for virus elimination treatment on the crops we work on here at Foundation Plant Services, UC Davis. My name is Sue Sim, and this time we'll show sweet potatoes. We start by collecting tips from the greenhouse, bring them into the lab, and work in the hood. From this point on, everything is done aseptically with sterile instruments. But before we get started, I'll show you this light micrograph of a tip. In this case, the virus is labeled with a fluorescent purple dye, and it's a phloem limited virus. The great thing about this photo is that it clearly shows that if you excise the meristem dome plus a few leaf primordia at the top, you've gotten away from the virus. Then you grow a whole new plant from the tip and have a clean mother plant to propagate from. This is one of the theories why tissue culture for virus elimination is a successful technique. Of course, with different viruses, especially those that are not restricted to the phloem, it's a little more difficult to escape infection. So you always need to test the plants for viruses after treatment. But Slava starts by trimming away the lower leaves. We like to use the apical buds. They're bigger and uh, normally sweet potatoes produce more than enough apical buds to use. It's important to use sterile blades for each cut, which we didn't do in this video to save time. For the last cut, though, it's especially important to avoid transferring any virus on the scalpel blade from the older tissue to younger tissue. Sweet potatoes are one of the easier plants to meristem. It's relatively easy to locate the meristem dome, and they're very vigorous and grow well in tissue culture. But Slava is very practiced at this, and her technique is really excellent. It's extremely difficult to make the really small cuts. So she's taking off a leaf primordium here, and now you can see the meristem dome. It's shiny, dome-shaped, of course. It's very vibrant looking. It's surrounded by two leaf primordia. She just took the top of one of them off right there with the blade. Um, sweet potatoes are unusual in the fact that it's possible to excise just the dome if you want to. It's usually about 0.1 millimeters, but when you include a few leaf primordia, the survival increases, and it's usually small enough to exclude the virus. Here's the tip. It's about 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters. It dries very quickly in the air, so you place it on top of the medium quickly and not too deep or it'll drown. At this stage, it's barely visible to the naked eye. Here's one that's about three weeks old in a tube. The tubes are incubated in a growth chamber and transferred to fresh medium every two to three weeks. In three to five months, it develops into a little plantlet with roots and leaves. Then we transfer it to potting mix, test it for viruses, and if it tests negative, it's kept in the mother plant greenhouse to use for propagation. This technique is very successful in sweet potatoes. In our experience, over 95% of the tips that are excised test virus negative. For more information, see our website at fps.ucdavis.edu.